My name is Tim Hunkin. This is me. I trained as an engineer, but I now write and draw a cartoon strip for the Observer Sunday paper. It's in the back of the colour supplement called The Rudiments of Wisdom. I take a different subject each week and pick eight or ten facets of it, usually with a slightly engineering bias. I also make mechanical sculptures, sort of three-dimensional cartoons. This one's called the zoo. It's supposed to be an animal's eye view. Some of my sculptures are made for particular sites and others, like this one, go on tour around art galleries and fairs. I get great satisfaction from building machines that make people laugh. The frustrating thing is that, like all other machines, like cars, pocket calculators and even planes, they can go wrong. This is the sort of trouble I have. People feel cheated if it doesn't work. So, this programme's rather a personal look at the subject, drawn partly from my own experience with the machines and partly from facts I've picked up while researching the Rudiments of Wisdom cartoon. It's divided into five parts. First, there's a bit about Victorian machinery and how it probably wasn't any more reliable than machines are today. Second, how engineers tend to be intensely conservative about design to make machines more reliable. Third, there's a section about testing and how it often doesn't prove the reliability of new components. Fourth, there's a bit about aeroplanes and things that need to be totally reliable. And last, there's a bit about the perils of fiddling with machines. Steam engines are very impressive. You can see what every part does just by watching it. However, the ones that survive were among the best machines of their time. The unreliable and badly made ones have all disappeared. And even the ones that look most impressive can have their problems. This 1912 petrol engine is affected by damp. It can take half a dozen men over an hour to get it going. Just because a machine is made to last forever doesn't necessarily mean it's reliable. This machine has been unreliable for 70 years. It's solid enough to go on being unreliable for another 70. An important difference between Victorian machinery and machines today is the degree to which they can be repaired. In the early 19th century, most machines were repaired by local craftsmen making their own replacement parts where necessary. Farmers have continued this tradition until recently. As machines became more complicated, parts became interchangeable and firms started selling spares to be fitted by local tradesmen. If something like this adding machine broke down, spare parts would always be available to repair it. A modern plastic calculator would simply be thrown away. Replacing one is cheaper than repairing it. It's a consequence of modern assembly techniques. Gluing parts together is cheaper than using nuts and bolts. 
It doesn't necessarily make things less reliable, it just means they have a limited life. Plastic's almost impossible to repair, so there's no point in making the other components last longer than the plastic ones. Today, this limits the life of even the most expensive machines. But immortality is not always good engineering. A more practical ideal is this. All the parts are designed for the same limited life. <laughs>